Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to season number four of the After Hours Gaming League. This is your host, J.W. Schmo. It's been a rough week so far. Raytheon has been playing IBM. They took it all the way to the championship in season number three in the A-League. And Raytheon is looking severely outmatched in this best of five. You know, unfortunately for Raytheon, IBM is up two to nothing. This is it. This is for all the cookies. Let's get right into the match. In the upper, upper corner, playing at the Brew Protoss for IBM. You know him as the train, but we like to call him a train and in the bottom bottom corner playing for Raytheon is the red Protoss is Belgrat and it all comes down to this one probe out in the wilderness Laying down a pylon of doom. It's tench. The tension, you could cut it with a knife. What is this pylon of doom going to do? It's going to finish building. But now what, hey, Trent? Oh, what are you going to do? You are going to lay down a gateway of destruction. And so the pylon of doom and the gateway of destruction will combine to provide you with a zealot very close to your red. And ladies and gentlemen, I think we are in for a bumpy, bumpy ride in game number three between IBM and Raytheon. The rally point and the gateway Doom and destruction has been laid. And also Puzzle is lagging. Puzzle still has not fully recovered from game number two. And he's lagging it up hardcore. The cybernetics core of glory has been laid down. And I think we've got some proxy nefariousness going on here from our blue Protoss. The Zealot. And Belgrad hasn't scouted. There hasn't been a scout from our red Protoss. Whatever will he do? Apparently, he would be surprised with the rest of us. And that first zealot is laid. The plot thickens. The trap has been set. And now the question becomes, will Belgrat recover from it? The zealot's in his base. Could have built a stalker, but he decided to build a zealot instead, killing off that zealot with the probes. But wait, A Train, not to be dissuaded, is bringing in a stalker, and that stalker is going to lay waste to that zealot. That zealot doesn't have range, and another stalker. Belgrat needs to stop with the zealots. So many zealots. So little time. Oh, the unfortunateness of the unfortunate. A train with three stalkers more on the way. And these zealots are completely useless. A train doing the micro dance. Look at that micro dance. Just the shields on that stalker have gone down. Now, what are you going to do, Belgrat? Does that not look terrible? A train, blue Protoss, laying down the hood. Little close distractions. That one stalker may do it. Mm. Little probe going down. Belgrat giving a little bit of a heads up here, gonna take out one. This could look good, it might be enough for Belgrat to recover. We don't know. 
A Train doing some fantastic micro. One of his stalkers going down is almost an even race. But more stalkers are on the way. Two stalkers against two. Belgrat needs to lay down the hurt right here, right now. Needs to get that one stalker micro. Doesn't happen. Now he's got two. Could do some damage here. Could do it. Could do it. Needs to give chase. Gonna hide. Ooh, bad micro. And now. Three, two. Oh, A-Train with the excellent micro there. Here we go again. Belgrat has enough to get another guy built. Instead goes for the Warp Prism. It is done. This could be the difference. He is going to get a little bit ahead here on the build. He's going to be able to lay down two more instantaneously. He needs to do some damage. He needs to kill off a stalker here. It is happening. Now it's four stalkers to two. So, a train has lost six stalkers now. Ooh. Belgrat has lost four. This micro has been absolutely fantastic by a train. Not even trying to hide anything. Belgrat has to push all of his probes. It's not looking good for our red Protoss. All the probes have been pulled. This is it. Belgrat. One single solitary stalker has now died. And the GG. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. In three games, Raytheon has found an opponent that can absolutely destroy pretty much everything except for maybe, I don't know. I don't know. IBM could rule the world someday. They certainly have the server farms to do it. So in week number four, Raytheon gets to taste something that it doesn't normally taste, and that is defeat at the hands of a superior force with superior skill. And they will have to go back and lick their wounds and come back again next week. Thank you for watching this JW Schmo from Team Raytheon. Good luck and good night.